So hello everybody, Smith here and welcome back to another Minecraft Dinosaurs episode. We've got a showcase for you because in all the upgrades and everything I've been doing, I've missed that Mind Jurassic, <laughs> Mind Jurassic Vehicles is updated on the 10th of October. So we're a month late, nearly a month late, but hey, I've just been playing around uh, with this for this review because uh, these vehicles, as I will show you later in the video, work with some shaders and they don't. So what I've got here is the No Shadows Chocobip shaders. So we've still got some shaders, uh, but they haven't. And I'll show you. It depends what you like, because at the end of the video, I'll show you. But look what we got, guys. We have got them. Camp Cretaceous. Uh, well, it's a 6x6 AMG as one of the vehicles. Uh, which is really cool. So let's have a quick look around this because we're going to show you the other vehicles as well. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited because look, it actually fits into the map pretty damn well in terms of size. So really, really good, cool. really cool. Got the Camp Cretaceous badge here. Now, Mind Jurassic is obviously 1.12.2. It's where I've got all the new Mind Jurassic dinosaurs. It's got more dinosaurs than anything else. Uh, and it's got vehicles and we've got Harbour Mania as well. So in terms of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World and Camp Cretaceous, it's got more objects than anything else. So yeah, let's have a look at that. So the wheels, I do like the fact that the wheels are now like chunky big wheels, aren't they? And tyres, really good. I like the details, like the exhaust here. Uh, although, yeah, I would would have thought that on, uh, on real world, they would have had uh, the exhaust coming out of the top of deep water but look at that look at that isn't that good so you can see the sort of flickering that's because it's it's made out of many parts and the, some of the shaders uh, do that uh, but that is really cool i really like that so what we're going to do now is we're going to show the other vehicles as well because there's a ton of vehicles uh, to show off some old and some new so we're going to show them all so what i'm going to do guys is going to get them all out get them all out to show you the different vehicles so guys, we're going to start with all the listed vehicles that are in-gen, which is really cool because obviously I'm looking at in-gen and biosyn. I think we'd like some biosyn ones, but all these are the in-gen vehicles. This is the original in-gen helicopter, and I've got a little app which you can see in-gen Augusta A901 and 109, but uh, really nice. I'd say we've got a couple of helicopters. I like this one. Uh, this is the Unimog. We like Unimogs as such. But uh, again, it's got the little badge on the front. It's got this in-gen badges here and on the side that all work. Some of the shaders I said don't work. This is obviously the Hummer, in-gen Hummer. And then we got the Humvee. <laughs> it's just, this just sort of adds a lot more to the game in terms of having all these vehicles. Because when you do maps and stuff and bring them in, and when you add that to the Harbour mod as well, it's superb. Uh, so this is the open Jeep, which is what I'd like to see uh, is remember the one from the engine with the uh, the arm over it. It would when they were chasing when they were chasing the dinosaurs. I think I would like to see that. I think that'd be really cool. I haven't actually got into one of these yet. I don't know. if I think no, these are visual. They don't drive. I'll just tell you. Yeah, they don't drive. And then this is the closed Jeep. It's got like a seat. It's got like a little box in the back. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is cool. I say they're really good. And finally, we got the famous in-gen boat uh, from the famous scene with the uh, Spinosaurus. But uh, again, this actually sits on the water, but you have to sit it on a block. See, I've sat it on that grass block there. Now, these are my new favourites. I really like these. Uh, I really like the design. I like the colour scheme. Uh, and I like the, the way it's just been all done. So this is the Jeep Wrangler crate in Gen 1, which has got a crate in. And look at the wheels at the back and the wheels at the front. I like that. The fact that we've got these artistic designs in this, which makes it really sort of authentic as such. And I've got lights on the front. Really good job, Leo <laughs> Absolutely really good job. And the back, the lighting is really good. So then we've got the 6x6. Six six. Well, my, it, these are my favourite like uh, new vehicles that are introduced. Really heavy duty 6x6 uh, six six G63s. Absolutely fantastic, aren't they? I'd love to drive one of these. And that's what, especially through deep mud and stuff. Uh, it'd be good if you could put a crate in the back. Because on the in-gen, in the other in-gen mod, in fact, I wonder if you can actually. I uh, wonder if you can just do that. Go to uh, next one along, I think. Where's the, where's the, oh, I can, and that fight meant, oh, it's back there. The harbour mod. Uh, 
Hmm. Harbour mania. <laughs> Harbour mania. Ah, the crate with the meat in it. I wonder if you can put this on the back of here. Probably can't. No, you can put it underneath. <laughs> uh, you can put it at the side, but not, <laughs> not on top. But it just shows. I mean, they are so, truly fantastic. I'm surprised no one's done this before. It's really keen and really, really superb. And then we've got like the soft top Jeep. I call it Jeep Wrangler. Uh, capo in gen jeep rambler capo because it's got the the uh, brown sort of comes off and it's the old tarpaulin over the top and then we got the open uh, jeep wrangler from in gen as well so really really cool vehicle so next up guys let's go and have a look at the jp stuff so guys here we have the four just four jp vehicles uh, but they are really good and, and the fact is jp didn't have many vehicles uh, this is obviously the original Jeep Wrangler crate version, as it is, because there was a crate version, remember, in the back with the crates. I'd like to see the crate, actually. Uh, this is the obviously the new 6x6 uh, G63, which I really like. I like the fact we have now got one of these in JP, which is really cool. I like the fact that... Well, I think uh, what would be really good is if we could have, like, a full set of each. So even though... It's keeping to the movie scenes, even though we didn't have uh, JP Hummers. We had JW Hummers, as you see, or, or ACU. I suppose InGen is the ACU of the modern era. And we got the four Jeeps here. I suppose that sort of matches up. But I think I would like to see some more uh, JP vehicles. And the only thing I didn't do is put the Augusta, the Augusta helicopter in. Let's put this one here. Look at that. Not good or what in gen helicopter, but I forgot about obviously the Jeep Wrangler with the hood on top. Also, the details on the wheels are really good. The signage is really good. It's just, it's just brilliant. I just love it uh, because you can bring these into any of your maps. So it's really cool. Right. So those are JP. So those are the in gen JP, and then we want J JW. So we've got AJ JW and ACU. So let's bring those in. Okay, guys, so we've got one extra little vehicle here. We've got this <laughs> prehistoric park. Prehistoric park, Toyota Bandera, which is really cool. I like that. It's really cool. I like the fact that you put different ones in. Uh, there, is a, uh, there is a glitch, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So here are the Jurassic World. Jurassic World, yeah. So it's a Jurassic World the Jeep Langra crate version. Again, the different color wheels. I just like the fact we got we can like bring them in for different ones, uh, and then we've got the uh, Jurassic World uh, Super Duper G63 six by six, which is really cool as well. Uh, and then we got the Jeep Rambler K Pop. Well, the only thing that doesn't work is the Jeep Wrangler won't spawn in. So I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Uh, very sad. Uh, tried it just doesn't spawn in so you right click so that is the only little glitch so i can't show you that one uh, so what i was going to talk about was shader so what we did is we've used on this particular one we've used uh, no shaders so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to show you we need uh i don't know where the jw helicopter is actually uh or is it in the harbor mod may not be in the harbor mod no might not be in the harbor mod i was just trying to think where the, where the where the the uh, where the stuff was that's interesting so we we'd like to get the uh, the the JW helicopter I think that'd be really cool right okay so shaders guys let's show you these so if I put some super shaders so and now I've got the super uh, G RTX 370 I can use shaders so I've got a ton of shaders in here the one I do like is this one here called Robo 1221 shaders. Uh, but, and they're similar so let's just get this in there done back so this actually most of the sh most of the uh, this actually works really well I'm, I'm at like 70 frames a second what happens with shaders is some of the models don't work but in this particular one they work really well uh, yeah you can see now obviously I've got full shadows on it's an ultra setting so it looks really pretty impressive uh, but you can see like some of the panels sort of go wrong. The other thing is you've got to look if the badge doesn't work Invariably the shaders don't work, but you can see here It's a bit of stutter here because we're down to 40 odd, but I have got it at 24 chunks because you can see the uh, Camp Cretaceous over there 
but they do look quite good. So it's about playing around with shaders to see, oh, they look nice, don't they? The Jurassic World ones. But you can see some of the some of the shading doesn't work with shaders. But that that's quite good. I like that one. So let's try a couple more. So options, shaders. Uh, you can see the shaders got. So no shadow ultra. I think that's the one I was using. So uh, you can get these on Chocobix for all the shaders. So that was the ultra no shadows, which is quite good in terms of filming, especially when you're filming in the dark because you haven't got shadows messing about. Uh, my The one I've been using for the last six months uh, in terms of shaders is this one here, no shadows, because I like the fact that this sort of gives a misty feel. Uh, and I might, I think I might still use these shaders, even though they've got no shadows. It's just like I'm... I'm doing a hundred odd frames uh, and these look pretty good don't they? there's a couple of oddities like this one looks a bit funny but all the others sort of work they sort of work and I like the color scheme on that uh, and the Jeep Wranglers look really good and I like the fact they come alive so those shaders there and then if we go to Zeus's and stuff like that they're really high quality shaders so we'll put that like that and go to options and we go in the visual here shaders and we go down to so I've got all these chocopics. Version six are not very good. The version seven one point one extremes are good. So these are chocobic thirteen. Look at this. These are pretty good, aren't they? These shaders. Uh, but what you get with the shaders is this funny stuff. This happens to it. They look good on the sunny side. So this is the same with the uh, the sign as well. So some of the shaders, because they're old, so these Chocovic shaders look pretty damn good in terms of photography, uh, but they're not quite right as such. So uh, video settings, let's go shaders again. Let's go down to, there's a version eight here, betas. I probably, I need to probably go down and download. These are quite good, aren't they? Uh, signage is there they look quite dirty so i suppose that's quite good the fact is that these look dirty as such the signage is still there and they all work but when you get to the dark side <laughs> i call it dark side you can see the shadows are sort of a bit dark a couple more uh there we go let's have a look shaders uh, oh we've got some other ones here the plunder pixel ones are quite good plunder pixels that gives a more like a uh, cartoony feel, but I don't like how the trees look. See that with the trees? So it's sort of a bit too much for my video. Shadows are good. Uh, I need to go and have a look at now some of the new shaders that are out uh, because I think they will be better. Zeus is uh, renewed. Let's have a look at that. These might be, might be okay. Yeah, I'm getting 118 frames a second here. So this looks pretty damn good. And and look at look at that. This might be my new shader. Uh, down to 88 frames. Most of the shaders, most of the uh, the were all the cars and vehicles come out. It's really good for photo shoots with the clouds and everything. Uh, so I might have to go and uh, subscribe to Zeus's to get the new ones but you can see here so that is probably the super duper one i'm going to use for this so just for information that was the shaders were zeus renewed version 101 uh, and when you go to these ultra ones again the ultra shaders we're getting 90 frames a second so but then look what happened to the helicopter over there so you have to find which is the best I go back to shaders renewed. Then, then, then back. See, so the helicopter was a lot better, and that I think that looks really cool, doesn't it? In terms of how the sky is and everything, I really like that shader. I think that might be my new shader for the filming. You have to tell me what you think, guys, because they look really cool, don't they? I think I'm gonna have to. That will be uh, to get the screenshot. I think that'll look pretty good as a screenshot. Uh, so the only other thing, guys, what texture pack am I using? Uh, the texture resource pack, I'm using Faithful. It's, in, it's a version for 1.10, Minecraft 1.10. It's a Faithful 64 pack, version 1.4.0. I need to go and find uh, a different, newer version of Faithful. I like this one as well. Uh, the default realistic is a sort of a different one, but it's a bit too harsh for me. 
think we'll stick with this. What do you reckon, guys? Now I've got the new graphics card, I can do some high level detailed videos. So that is it. Uh, go in the, the link to these vehicles are in the description. Uh, Leo saw again, brilliant job, mate. You just need to sort this Jeep Wrangler. I want to be able to spawn this Jeep Wrangler. That's the only thing you probably know about it because you've only just updated, but that is good. Look at that. Good, good, good. Right, guys. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Hope you like that. We're going to have some more Minecraft animals and Minecraft Jurassic World uh, Biosyn coming soon. I'm sorry there's been a bit of a gap, but hey, I've had to upgrade my computer and it's well worth it for you and for me. See you soon. Bye bye.